Okay, well, welcome everyone. Good evening. On behalf of the Illinois Association for College Admissions Counseling and StriveScan, I wanted to welcome you to virtual college exploration for all Illinois students. Thanks for being here tonight. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. Your camera and microphone are turned off, so panelists will not be able to see or hear you. And the chat function is also disabled, but you can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to your presenters at any time. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so we encourage you to take advantage of all of the different sessions, and you can be sure to check them out on iacac.org. So this presentation is also being recorded and will be available within about a week at the same website. And once again, that website is iacac.org. So now without further ado, I'd like to turn it over to our presenter from Milwaukee School of Engineering. Hi everybody, uh, my name is Emma Phillips. I'm an admissions counselor at the Milwaukee School of Engineering. Really happy to be here. Um, again, while we are kind of chatting through things, um, while I'm talking about MSOE, if anybody does have questions about MSOE, put them in the chat. I'm more than happy to get those answered. Love answering questions. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to share my screen over here. It might take me just a second gonna put her in present mode now. And just one more thing to do. All right, so hopefully everybody can see my PowerPoint. Um, we're just gonna get started right away. Um, so just a little bit about MSOE, some basic numbers about MSOE. First of all, we are located in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, so Milwaukee is right on the lakeshore. It's about an hour and 45 minutes away from Chicago, if you take the highway. Um, we're located right downtown Milwaukee, so there's a bunch of things to do. Um, MSOE by the numbers, though, we're a pretty small school. Um, we're about 2,700 students. That's not including our graduate program. So MSOE really does feel um, kind of like a community. A lot of times um, students who attend MSOE, their high school is even a pretty similar size. Um, so there are a few benefits that kind of go along with that. I will touch base on those um, in just a few minutes. Um, just some basic numbers. We are about 70% men, um, about 30% women, 17% minorities, and 9% international. So that's just a quick breakdown of our population here. Um, our student to faculty ratio, and this is something that I think is really, really great, um, is about 13 to one. So basically what that means for every 13 students here on campus, we have one faculty member. Um, our average class size for undergrad students is about 21 uh, students per class. I would say that is for um, a class like calculus that pretty much everybody takes. Um, labs, which is really going to be the focus here at MSOE, um, labs are always going to be 10 students or less uh, because we want to make sure in those labs you are the one doing that thing um, and you get a lot of practice, you get that one-on-one -on -one kind of education. Just talking a little bit about our academic majors here. Um, you can kind of see right on the list, um, we are mainly a STEM focused school. So pretty much any kind of engineering you want, we've got it um, right down from architectural engineering all the way to biomolecular engineering, which is like engineering on the, on the micro level. <laughs> um, we also have actuarial science, nursing, um, business and a pretty strong computer science program as well. So if any of those sound really good to you, definitely MSOE would, would be a good fit. Um, a few things that are really unique about our academics here, um, we're a very academic focused school. Like I had mentioned earlier, um, we like to make sure that all of our lab sizes are really small. Um, that's going to be something that's also very unique to MSOE is um, that is our main focus here is just that lab hands on aspect of education. All of the majors on this list, the only way that you really get good at, at them um, is by, you know, creating things, building things, breaking things. That's how you get good at these majors. Um, so that's really our main focus here is making sure that students have that practice. That way, after you graduate here, um, day one in that field, you feel really confident. You can see right down at the bottom as well. Um, we are a four-year a four graduation guarantee school. So if you follow our academic track, students are able to graduate here with any of these degrees in four years. Um, one of the reasons we're able to do that, uh, we are a direct admit school. So basically what that means, if you get accepted to MSOE, you're also accepted into the program of your choosing, whether that be actuarial science, whether that be mechanical engineering. 
that means that you don't have to wait till you're a junior to start taking those classes. Um, that also means you're going to get to try your major out right away. Um, mechanical engineers, they start with intro to mechanical engineering. Um, so, you know, maybe you start mechanical engineering, you are like, wow, this is it. This is for me. Or, or maybe you take that class and you're like, wow, I, this isn't what I thought it was. Uh, maybe I should try architectural engineering. That seems like a better fit. Um, so that direct admit um, part of our program is really, really nice for students just to make sure um, that they're able to have experiences early and right away. Talking a little bit about minors, we do allow minors here on campus. Um, it's really, really common. I always make this joke, but if you major in engineering and minor in business, you are like the most marketable person in the world. Um, so this list, um, pretty much any kind of major, you can minor in any of these. Um, it's pretty popular for students to minor in Spanish or German um, or business. Those are going to be probably our three biggest ones here on campus. Adding a minor is not going to affect your graduation time. Um, so you'll still be able to graduate here in four years. Um, so kind of like I was mentioning before that MSOE academics are really going to make us unique, that hands-on emphasis on uh, to education. Something that is really cool about that, and I would definitely encourage you to check this out on our website. Um, all students here participate in something called a senior design project. Basically, um, it's like a capstone. Um, after your three years here, your senior year, part of your curriculum is going to work with a team of students to create something, to do some sort of research. You spend the whole year working on it, and then when you, uh, at the end of the year, you get to present that to companies that come to our campus. So that's another way where we tie in that really that hands on level of education here. In those classrooms, in those labs that are about 10 students or less, um, the only person teaching your class is your professor. We don't allow teaching assistants on campus because you're working so hard, you're spending all this time, um, you should be learning from the best of the best and that's going to be your professors. So they'll always be teaching your classes. It's really nice too, they get to know your name and um, it tends to be more of a community, right? Like I was saying earlier. Um, those professors, we also do require that they have field experience. So basically, we require professors to have two to five years of experience in the field that they're teaching. That way, when your mechanical engineering professor is teaching about something, she can relate it back to how it affected her in the field. So again, it's kind of all tying into that, um, that hands-on, really real aspects of education here. I hope I didn't click too far. I did, there we go, we're back. Um, so, uh, you know, I've really been talking about the academics of things. I really believe that if a student were to, um, you know, go to their dorm and then go to their class and then back to their dorm and then back to class, and that was it for four years, it would be a super sad four years here. <laughs> um, so MSOE is a lot more than just our academics. We have a really, really um, thriving student life and the student community. So I have a huge list of things on here. Um, I know very few students who aren't involved in some sort of club or org organization, ranging all the way from um, Greek life. So we do have fraternities and sororities here to radio club, to archery, to uh, like a strongly thriving unicycle club, to different gaming organizations, to um, really pretty much anything you can ever think of, to um, like professional organizations like Concrete Canoe, where you build design and design a canoe that has to float that's made of concrete. Um, we have a bunch of different, different things like that. Robotics, drone racing, really the list goes on. Um, so when you come here on campus, it's not hard to find a space where you feel like you fit. Um, if you do come here on campus and you're like, wow, I really, really wish we had a Quidditch team. I don't know if we have a Quidditch team. We might, I don't think we do. Um, but if you come here in your freshman year and you're like, wow, I really want a Quidditch team. Like, I don't feel like it would be right for me to be here without it. We actually have money set aside. Um, students can start their own clubs and orgs every, every day, every year. Um, all you need is really just the idea and a professor to help you do it. So it happens all the time. Um, that way you can do the things that you want to do in your four years here. Moving on to that, um, we do have athletics here on campus. Um, we are a D3 varsity school. Um, aside from varsity, we do have kind of like three tiers of athletics. Varsity, which will be the most competitive. Um, club, which will be, you know, maybe you've played the sport before, but you, you're not really interested in um, as being as competitive as a varsity team. And then um, the, the last one will be intramural, which is like, 
you know, having a group of friends together to play some beach volleyball, but compete with a few other teams on campus. Um, so whatever you really, um, however you want your academic or your academic, excuse me, your athletic experience to be here, we've got different tiers for that. Um, if you see on this list, uh, we pretty much have most sports. The only sport that we don't have, um, sorry, we don't have football. Instead of football, we are a hockey school. So that's going to be our Friday night aggression sport. Um, also, instead of um, football, we do have an esports team. So you can see um, down on the in the bottom right, um, if you're good at video games, you can play it on the varsity level here competitively. If you're really good at video games, um, for all of those tournaments that we participate in, usually the the um, the prize is cash money, um, and that cash money that goes to your, towards your tuition. So it pays off to like video games here at MSOE. Um, so again. There are a lot of ways to be involved, whether that be athletics, whether that be student life, um, clubs and orgs, things like that. Um, so moving over to residence life, we do require freshmen and sophomores to live on our campus. Um, we have three traditional style residence halls available for freshmen. We've got Margaret Lock Hall. That's actually what's pictured in that, uh, in, in that picture right there. It's your typical freshman style room. Um, sharing a room with another person, furniture, beds, all of that's gonna be included. Even if you peek out the window, you can see downtown Milwaukee. So you can see we're right in the middle of everything. There's lots to do. Um, Roy W. Johnson Hall, that's actually um, not available this year because um, we're currently redoing it. Basically, we are tearing the whole thing down, building a brand new one. Um, so by the time, if you are a senior this year, by the time you're a freshman, that will be available. Um, that's also going to be priority for those freshmen. So it'll be a nice brand new space, brand new, you know, living areas, brand new community areas. Um, so you'll be, be able to enjoy that as a freshman here. We have Regents Hall, which is more suite style, sharing a, um, a room with another person, but maybe sharing like a, a living room area with another group of two. Um, so that will all be for freshmen. After that, after your sophomore year, you can stay on campus if you would like, but you don't have to. Um, we do have really good on-campus options. The Groman Tower, that is like a brand new luxury apartment. That's for our upperclassmen students. It's got a little kitchen, a bathroom. It's a little bit more fitting for an upperclassman. Uh, but you can make that decision then if you want to live on campus or off campus. It's popular for students to do both. All right, so I talked a little bit about MSOE. Um, so now what? If you're like, wow, MSOE, this seems really great. Here's the admissions process. Um, so you can apply online at our website, msoe.edu slash apply. Um, the really nice thing, it takes like 10 minutes to do. Um, it's basically just putting in your basic information. Um, again, it's totally free. Engineers love to hear this, but there's no essay required. <laughs> so again, it's really just your basic information. Mainly it's to pair you up with somebody like me, an admissions counselor. Um, we recommend that you finish your application and have that sent in before December 1st. Um, and then after that, somebody like me, again, an admissions rep, um, will email you and say, hey, can you send us your high school transcripts? Um, this year, just because of COVID and we've been finding that students are having a hard time being able to take the, the tests, ACT and SAT, we are going to be test optional. Um, so you can send your scores in, but you definitely don't have to. Um, and not sending your scores in will not hinder your acceptance or your admission here at MSOE. Mainly this year, we will just be looking at those transcripts and the kinds of classes that you have on your transcript. Regardless of what school you go to, I cannot stress this enough, file your FAFSA. <laughs> that opens October 1st. Um, I believe the priority deadline is in December, so just make sure you get that done with uh, because that is money from the government that can really help you. Admissions requirements. Um, so we do require a high school diploma. Our minimum GPA requirement is a 3.0. Um, and we like to see four years of math and four years of science. This year, because of the test optional, um, we are pretty hard and fast on requiring some form of calculus, whether that be pre-calc, whether that be calc, anything like that. Um, so if you know that you wanna come to MSOE and you don't have calc on your transcript, do not worry, it's not too late. You can still put that in in your senior year, so we do have some options there. Um, for science, we do like to see physics as well as chemistry. Um, and again, um, four years of English is also required. So this will mainly be what we're looking at on transcripts this year. 
there we go. Tuition and fees. Um, so tuition, all of it kind of, if you see on the slide, this is kind of a breakdown of all of our costs. Our sticker price here at MSOE is about $55,000. Don't worry, don't freak out, that's a huge number. Nobody pays that. <laughs> uh, but this is just all of the fees, everything added up, um, all put together. On average, students will pay about twenty-two dollars to $25,000 a year to go here. Um, I say on average because it really varies. Um, it's different for every student in every family. Um, I've seen students pay more. I've seen students go here for much, much less. Um, so it really all just depends on your individual situation. And here's how we're going to start getting those ch that chunk of change down a little bit. First, right off the bat, academic merit scholarships. Every student here receives one of these. Um, it's based on your test scores. Uh, so I'm sorry, not your test scores, your transcript. Um, and that will range from $10,000 to $24,000 every year. $24,000 off is a pretty big chunk of change. So that's going to help you right away. Because this is an Illinois fair, if you're from Illinois, we'll also give you an additional $1,000. You can kind of see that on there. It's called the Opportunity Grant. Um, we also do give out individual onesie, twosie scholarships for if you have been in any of these clubs or orgs here that are on that list, um, ranging from $3,000 to $1,000. All of this money, this is before your finan final financial aid offer. Um, so you don't have to do anything to get this. This is just money that we're giving you. Um, in January, February, that is when financial aid offers come out, and then you'll be able to see a full breakdown of what you would be expected to pay here at MSOE. Our financial aid office takes this money, and then they also evaluate your EFC, your estimated family contribution, so basically how much money your family makes as a whole, um, to make sure that you are paying a price that is reasonable for you, um, and that's something that hopefully you'll be, be able to afford then. If you're curious about how much you would be asked to pay here, we do have an estimator online. You can even just search MSOE financial aid calculator and that can help you out there. So if you do um, have additional questions that we don't get to today, don't worry, I'll be able to touch on them. Um, if you have not applied yet, there's the link right now, msoe.edu slash apply. Um, if you would like to see more of MSOE, we do have a bunch of virtual sessions, virtual visits. You can go to msoe.edu slash visit, um, and I would be more than happy um, to kind of point you around in those if you have questions. But otherwise, yeah, peruse that site, um, find some cool stuff that might interest you. I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing my screen here. All right, one second. Let me just get out of my PowerPoint. All right, so if anybody has questions, Feel free to send those through now. This is a really good time. Um, no question is too small or big. I'm happy to, to answer them. While we're kind of waiting for questions to come in as well, kind of filter through things here, um, I'll just talk a little bit about just what we are doing right now. And we have some pretty exciting new updates. Um, we did just completely redo our, um, like our campus union, um, so where students hang out. So that means we have a brand new eating option on campus, a brand new study hangout space for students as well. Um, if you want to see pictures of that, you can go to msoe.edu, check them out. They're all over the website, so you can definitely see them. All right. Any questions, guys? Good stuff. I'll give you guys just another minute, just in case. And again, too, um, if you are kind of going through that college search process and um, you have some questions about our admissions process, anything like that, you can find our phone number on our website. Um, I'd say it to you now, but it's probably just easier to search it. You can find our phone number online. That'll direct you right to the admissions office. You can speak with somebody like me, an admissions counselor. Um, we're more than happy to talk to anybody about any questions that you guys might have kind of along the process. All right, we got one question coming here. Um, this is a really good question. Um, 
do you guys have any athletic scholarships for um, golf specifically, but I'll kind of answer it for all athletics. So unfortunately, because we are a D3 school, we are not allowed to give out scholarships for athletics. Um, but kind of instead, um, a really good option, usually students will have some sort of um, scholarship coming in for clubs or orgs that can kind of, kind of help out with that. Uh, but because we're a D3 school, we're actually not able to give out scholarships for that. Um, if you are interested in golf, though, we have a really great golf team. The golf coach is really, really nice. So definitely I'd recommend looking into that. Um, again, kind of going off of that as well. If you are interested in athletics here, um, if you want to play varsity, I would recommend in the next few months reaching out to either an admissions counselor like me, somebody that you're working with, or um, a coach. Let them know that you're interested. Let them know that you know, you're somebody that wants to be considered for those spots. That way they can start looking into you as a player. Um, they can kind of start going through that process. Any other questions, guys? Last call. Ooh, another good, oh, we got two. <laughs> that was a good one. Okay, so first question, could I transfer from a community college? Um, the answer is yes. Um, my advice is going to be, if you're planning on going to a community college before attending MSOE, um, definitely I would do your homework first. So basically what I mean by that is call one of our offices. You can speak to a transfer counselor. That way you're making sure that the classes that you're taking um, those classes will actually transfer to MSOE. Even though, you know, maybe your community college has a CALC class, even though it might seem like it's totally going to transfer, it's just not worth just taking it blind, right? So talk to one of our staff members, make sure that you're taking the right courses for transferring in. That is a pretty common thing that happens. The third question here, and I think this is a really good question, is there an ice cream machine? Um, so actually, normally, I think I'd be able to answer this, I, I think we do right now. Like I said, we just built a brand new eating option here and I actually haven't eaten in there yet because it's our second week of having it open. Um, so I think there's an ice cream machine in there. Uh, basically you can walk in and it's kind of all you care to eat. There are a bunch of different stations. So they have like an ice cream bar or like a yogurt bar, different things like that. So it's a really good question. <laughs> Any other questions guys? Good ones, all good ones. Awesome. If you guys do have questions, again, feel free to reach out to any of us. You can find us on our website. There are a bunch of ways to contact us. We're more than happy to help you out. Uh, but otherwise, thank you guys so much and have a, have a really good evening. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Emma. We appreciate everything that you, you just shared with everybody. Um, and thank you students for joining us tonight. When you close this window, there's gonna be a link to a very quick four question survey. So we appreciate any feedback that you can provide. Also, this was just many sessions, many of um, one of many sessions being hosted. So as a reminder, if you wanna to go to iacac.org, you could sign up for additional sessions as well. And in about a week, this session will also be available for you on that website. And again, the website is iacac.org. So thank you and I hope you guys have a wonderful evening.